Welcome back to Valheim 30. This is Cody. Starting from the start menu this time. I actually finally reset my controller to the way that it works without mods. Should be a little easier for me to not have to fumble around with changing my weapons, although now I'll go through that changeover period probably briefly. And here we go. So yeah, I'm I think we're coming up on day eight, just starting up. I went to sleep at the end of the last session, just happened to be exactly the right timing. You know, I thought I would be doing these all on separate days, but I've sat here and done, now I guess this is the sixth one we're starting on, straight through um, this evening. It's a little late, but it's a Friday. Well, technically a Saturday now, but it's okay. So, yeah, my keep missing if I'm seeing the day announced or not. Uh, but I'll see it later when I'm editing. Alright. So here we are on what I think is day 8. Maybe day 9. I don't know. One of those two. Um, I still got a one star pig that's not quite trained up yet. I don't think. And uh, looks hungry. So let me get it some food. I wish I could do this without riling it up, but I don't really prepare the uh, the thing that way. Actually, I'll just give it three of these. Because it will not tame, I don't think, if it's not well-fed. And I do not think it's currently well-fed. Look how mad it is already. Oh, eat that fence. Did that fall in with you? Good. Okay. There you go. There you go, there you go. And uh, look at this guy, still running around, still does not know what time it is, what day it is. Kind of like me. I don't know what day it is or exactly what time it is. I know it's morning. I heard the sweet, sweet morning music. I know I got an uh, active set of piggies making babies behind me. And I'll be making separate pens for the new set soon. And like I say, kind of end up with probably four pins, hopefully of one star pigs, making up to six at a time. Um, and there's breeders, designs and stuff, and I might get into that later, but just not yet. I like to just let it kind of go a little bit or more organically, if you will, in the earlier stages. And uh, it's kind of a slow start, and then later kind of pump it up as I need, but you know, by that point, don't really need breeders for a given thing. It, it just depends. We'll see how this all goes. So, if I took a string and went out, the river is an edge for me here. The black forest is an edge for me there. I'm still going to scrape some of this away. Um, not sure how far the meadows goes there. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Party at nine minutes. I'm just gonna go rest for a second. Forget how I don't have anything going on here yet. But let's actually change a little bit of that. I think we can at least do your skin rug, right? I don't know how much I need. How much do I need? Perfect. Look at that. So this is gonna help. And oh yeah, I did say I was gonna do signs, and then I didn't do them because I think I was out of wood at the time. So we do that. Although I kind of know what I have here. So what I'll do is kind of this. Soft and hard. Just like that. So, you know, that's what I call soft. That's what I call hard. It's kind of a funny thing, but whatever. I think it makes sense. And I've got hides and food. Oh, look at that. One star has been tamed, y'all. Sweet. All right. Uh, I call this hides and food. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'll call that trophies and gear. Right? So for now, that's what this is. is trophies and gear. And that's just so I don't, like, my brain doesn't have to stop too much and think every time. Although it, it kind of still will. The hides and the hard. In the wood. Okay. 
Okay. So, we're trained up here, bud. Look at that. All right. Happy, happy. Joy, joy. So now I'll breed that one with the other one there. And... Don't... Oh, I guess I don't really need anything but break it down. Because they're already in a separate pin. Mr. Run Around, Run Around, I'm just going to ignore. Two mushrooms. Hungry, happy. I usually like to have, like, up to six... Thing. For them to eat. Three of these. Next, I guess, four of these. There we go. Okay. So that'll give them enough to eat for a little while. Um, piggy, piggy, piggy. Okay, they already got three little piggies. And they're hungry. Um, so... I am going to extend the pins. Told you I'd still be struggling. To put... As close to two each as I can get with this idiot running around like a fool. Look, they're already making babies. This is great. So yeah, then I'll start separating one stars, etc, etc, and get them all filtered out to one stars eventually. And then keep my eye out for the two star. There's nothing wrong with having a two star pig. So the idea is that I kind of want to keep these on the inside area of the fencing. So I kind of need to run, make a run over to here, right? Yeah, perfect. Because, um, you know, just to not have them on the edge when another stuff starts to inevitably come around. Yeah, you could eat another bite too. We could all eat another bite. I mean, we should. Alright. See? I like these little... Look at that. Perfect. Y'all be buddies. Alright, I do want to do the double doors. Just because it'll end up inevitably saving me time when they start to go not the direction I want them to go. So yeah, about to already have four little corrals here. Which is perfect. Starter pig scenario. For me. Again, you may want to do breeders, look them up. It does make the process faster, obviously. If your goal is to breed pigs, pigs look at that. Quickest and most effortlessly, breeder is the way to go. So, I'm looking at this situation. I'm just going to stick with three. Because I don't really have enough space for four, and I don't really think I'm going to benefit that much more from it. So, I'm not even going to mess with that one. Alright, so here we go. And this is because at some point they'll just all start walking. And uh, that'll be annoying. If they all walk completely out of where I want them to go. Alright, these ones are hungry, so they'll probably go if I give them... Right, see, look, here they go. They're all going. Alright, great. <coughs> I do want you in here. But I don't want you in there. See? And then I want you out. But I don't want you out. See? Little little thing that they do. Why they do that. Double doors. Ah, so difficult. Alright. Eating, eating, eating. That's me showing off my controller skills. Oh my god, look at them. They're just. 
So then I'll just bust these fence fences and just start pushing them and then I'll try to get this fence back up before they start to walk. And... Uh, got him. Got him. Oh, did you see him? Tried to get away. Tried to get away. Because what they do is they'll find an endpoint and they'll just work their way as fast as they can get to that endpoint. Okay, look how it shoved me right through that fence. Alright, there we go. We got two boars in the run now. <laughs> and that one, look at him, he is still just running around. Alright. Gotta have stamina to push a pig. I'll be renaming them, don't you worry. The stamina! Yeah, I pushed him all the way and now he's running away. Airlock. Airlock this one. Okay, we got one in there. And that'll push him away. And I'll sit here with this one as a blocker. As long as he's not running, I can push him. Get a little bit of a... Uh, horizontal scenario here. Boom, look at that. Now they're both in the airlock. See? Perfect. I mean, really, is this worth it? I don't know. Is it kind of a silly mini game, like I said earlier? Yeah, I kind of think it is. A little mini game that I play. I'll push the piggy. All done. Alright, great. So, beat him. Feed me. I need more for them. Let's get that first sorted. There you go. Okay. Can I kind of throw in six as a general rule just to kind of get them started? See, two piggies here. And there's a piggy there. Doesn't matter. Be a full grown before it matters. And then these two. So what's going on here? One mushroom. One star piggy, y'all. Look at that. That's what we want. So now we're going to have two full-grown pigs. Okay, so now... It is time to extend the base. Because I've got something to protect. You know what I mean? So, the way I like to do... Just plop down a few of these first. And a little, make sure that my orbits are a little close enough. Like, I want some overlap just to kind of be able to not be painted into a corner on how I make the fencing around it. Because I can, like, say, like that I can't touch. So keep the border kind of here I remember I have that up there so kind of do have some of this already and I don't need too far into that so it should be good oh except I don't have wood but look right beside me here's some wood okay, it's gonna roll downhill a little bit but I've got plenty of room oh ooh, 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 perfect Don't you dare. There we go. You see it almost hit my freaking berries down there. <sighs> Thought I had a lot more room than that. That was too close. Working on the top one first because the bottom one will rotate and not hit my berries, I believe. Exactly. It's like day eight, no berries. You just want to see what I'm doing and got swung. Okay. 
Alright, so yeah, that one's there, so this one can be more like over here. Is that so is that so? So okay, I think that's enough. So yeah, three is kinda what I want. One that's overlapping pretty close there, but that's okay. Two that's right there. It's kinda also overlapping again. Okay. Because what I'm trying to do is get uh, you know, a nice boundary around this boundary. And yeah, so the thing to keep in mind is that where my current base is is probably kind of the least secure in a way because I can't secure that part. Can't put something in that area. Alright, so now I'm going to need a lot more wood to build this secondary fence. And like, you know, this is letting the pigs do their mating while I'm kind of near. So it's all good. It's kind of the part of the grind I enjoy. It's just slowly improving my space, making it safer. All that. Making picky babies. Alright. Wood, wood, wood. So again, yeah, I clear out these kind of small ones. Although, in a way, it's like I could let the wood fall on them, but I'm going to keep some of these woods that are close as sort of a protector from the other woods that aren't. When they start falling, I don't want them to damage my fence. Oh boy. Fell on my foot. Rested? Well, I'll be damned. Alright, well, let's go take care of that real quick. And also check on our bees. Should have at least one honey. Yep, one honey. Up to four at a time. Dry off, rest off in our little tiny shack. It's probably end up being like a warehouse at some point. I don't know exactly. Like a lot of this I'll probably be tearing down or just leaving and moving a little bit further up the hill there. Yay, rain for my fence day. Definitely keep the trees that are inside my fence now. And that one's good. A nice clear perimeter with the fence around it. Probably take, I'm gonna guess, about 150 wood. Maybe. Well, I mean, I think it was about 80 to go around. I'm just guessing. So, kind of going around an exterior of that. Probably about 200. It doesn't take long to get there. I think I can get about 150 in a load without a belt. Maybe more. Um, and I brought no food, so I gotta go back and take care of that. I'm gonna take care of this real quick and then go do it. Yo, there we go. And another thing I often like to do is find a group of trees and just knock them all down onto each other, but I am forgetting, but I do wanna be a little careful of 
any berry patches or oh my god any berry patches around and also that <laughs> I don't want to die from cutting trees all right mostly because it resets some of my stats all right let's go get some food Jesus Reset some of these ridiculously low stats. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah Stamina's way higher on this. Honey, now. to the stamina. But I like to have a little on me that's a little better in case I do get into some sort of bind and I need a little bit better health. Food. Pair my axe. Get back out there. It is a gross day. For sure. Okay, continuing here to just knock them down. Careful, timber. Yikes. Don't want to knock these down yet. Oh, nighttime. Okay. Well, how about that? And those doors and those runs will, you know, kind of lose their luster over time, but that's not a big deal. I remember that piggy. I'll move later. I'm actually, probably just kind of on the slaughter list now. My one star is already kind of up and coming. Drying off and going to sleep. Here we are on day whatever this is. Will I see it? Day nine! That's probably what I would have said. I thought I just passed day eight recently. Alright, why don't I just put this wood away? And just uh, get started on getting more. Okay. Still piggy, still piggy. Still not made. Nope, they're making piggies. This one's still making piggy. Boar, boar, piggy, two one stars. Good job. Good job. Yeah, that's the thing. This incline, like cutting all this wood on the incline is annoying. But that's where I chose to build, right by the start. Got a lot of mountains right here. A little smoother on the other side of this ridge. And yeah, I'm leaving some of these roots. I will probably get them later. Stumps. Alright, I'll probably after this start building that fence. Try to get that done in five. So then we've got this all nice and wrapped up with a new uh, perimeter. really helping protect my investment over here and yeah so because of the way I mentioned I'm facing I'll probably put a little pike fence on this other side to uh, make that a little extra protection against this unprotectable side over here yeah still nothing huh okay Alright, so yeah, basically I'm going to extend 
along the line that I'm allowed to, which don't you see that? Okay. I'll go a little bit out of my. Well, I don't really want to go outside of my thing because then things can spawn inside of it. I think with my using the workbench boundary then nothing will spawn inside of the fence is the general idea. Things can break through the fence. But again, the skeleton mob might come for me at any time. I think it's random and at any of these nights or moments actually suddenly the skeletons can come. Um, just why I want this perimeter to protect my piggies. They've got that great inner fence. Like I say, yeah, I'm just gonna build no no doors in all these places. At this point, if I find a two-star pig, then I'll deal with it. I'll let it in however I need. Okay, see, this is nice. Grab more wood. Okay, so that was I don't know, 30, 20. What was that? Something. One each, about 20 something. I'm gonna keep this inside the rock so I can actually have a fence I can see. And the rock don't hurt to have a little bit extra guard there. Okay, where is the next one? Here? Here. Okay. Okay. Before I continue the fence, I'll go ahead and cut this down. not going to get the whole fence in, I don't think, in three more minutes, but we'll see. Not if I keep stopping and chopping and measuring and figuring. So let's just go. Okay. Okay. So I will kind of cut the corner here. Alright. A little bit outside of where the loop is. On each side. But not much just to get a little bit more of a straighter effect. Yeah, those caps. I end up sometimes with these gaps like this. I don't really want those. I'd rather have overlap. Okay, there we go. Right, so then we've got this kind of uphill, so actually do this. All right, and so on and so forth. Like I say there won't be time to finish it, but I will be finishing it in the very next segment. I think I'll do one more for the night, but it's Valheim. You never know, I might do 12 more and go to sleep at 5 a.m. Don't really have much else going on this weekend, y'all. Until Sunday. Do improv. <sighs> Rehearsal, at least. But yeah. Okay, I might do more things tomorrow. Because there is a workshop. I forgot. It's interesting. Where's the the inclines kind of messing with the math here? Okay. All right, 30 seconds. I finished uh, two thirds of the fence. <laughs> We're coming along just fine. Stack them up on this incline. Keep shit out.
All right, that's it. 30 minutes. We'll see wrapping this fence all the way around the other side next episode. Uh.